Hi, I am Carlos Robles, a Principal Product Manager on the SQL Developer Experiences team. In this video, I will show you how the MS SQL extension for VS Code, together with a new schema designer and GitHub Copilot, helps you work faster and be more productive as a developer working with SQL Database in Fabric. I've been asked to modernize the backend by replacing the old REST endpoints running in the self-hosted server with new endpoints created on GraphQL in Fabric. To do this, I will take advantage of a new GitHub Copilot integration with the MS SQL extension. First, to understand the database, existing database schema, and also to help me generating the new GraphQL queries and mutations. Then I will run each operation using my local Python tester directly inside VS Code. Okay, here I am in the Fabric portal, and I'm already connected to my library app database. The next thing I want to do is to create a new API for GraphQL. And it's simple as just giving it a name and that's it. My library underscore GraphQL endpoint was created. And as you can see, I selected all tables I have on my database. <clears throat> and this is for testing purposes because I just want to run queries and try mutations that will be generated by GitHub Copilot. So this is not production yet, but it's a way to get started really quick. And then the next thing I have to do is to generate the code from here. So as you can see, I have a couple of options. I can use Python or Node.js. For today's example, I'm going to use Python. So I'm going to grab this code. And as well, I need the uh, endpoint for this because this is going to be how I'm going to do HTTP request directly to this endpoint through my code. Okay, so I have everything I need to get started in VS Code. And to open VS Code, I'm going to use this functionality here in the Fabric portal. As you can see, there is a button that says Visual Studio Code. And from here, I have a couple of options. I can copy the server name, database name, and create a um, connection manually, but also have the option to click on Open in VS Code. If I have VS Code installed on my machine, and this is going to reuse that installation and open the MS SQL extension and grab all the different things I need to get connected to this database. So let's do that. All right, here I am in Visual Studio Code. As you can see, I have a connection to my database. So all I have to do is give it a name and then I need to choose a connection group. I already have a couple of connection groups, one for my cloud databases and the other for local databases. So I'm going to select cloud databases here and then I'm going to select my Entra ID and my tenant, and then I'm going to select connect. And with that, I should be able to connect to my SQL database in Fabric. And there we go. You can see I am connected now. Now that I'm connected to my database, I can start interacting with the same using GitHub Copilot. So for that, let's open the GitHub Copilot chat here, and I'm going to start this session in agent mode. And what I'm asking here is for the agent to use the MSQL extension tools to find a database called library in my connections and show me the diagram for that schema. As you can see, if I show you here the different tools, we can take a look at the tools provided by the MSQL extension that are integrated here in GitHub Copilot agent mode. Right now, the agent is pulling the list of different server connections that I have. It has identified the one profile that belongs to my Fabric database, and now is connecting to the database to provide me the schema. And as you can see, it provides me the visualization of the schema, which is available here for me to take a look at the different tables, understand about the relationships. I can even modify the schema from here if I want. I can pull the changes directly, or I can take a look at the different changes I'm making, the definitions and everything else. So this is very helpful. Okay, now that I'm connected to my database and I have a basic understanding of the different tables and relationships on the same, I can start working on the GraphQL development. And for that, I'm going to use the Python script that was created by Fabric for me. And as you can see, this code looks slightly different than the code that was generated by Fabric. And it's because I introduced a few changes, for example, the use of environment variables to hold the values of the different files I want to try in this case are GraphQL queries, and also to hold the, the value of my GraphQL endpoint. So it's not directly hard coded. Okay, now I'm going to use GitHub Copilot to assist me creating these different GraphQL queries for me. The first thing I want to do is to go back to my database and do a right click here on the database and select this option that says chat with this database. 
So as you can see, it opens a new window in the GitHub Copilot chat that has the context of my server in the database that I'm currently connected to. Okay, let's begin by creating the first GraphQL query for the authors table. And as you can see from my prompt, I'm providing GitHub Copilot instructions and how exactly I want this GraphQL query to be created. And I even including uh, the fact that I want comments and you can customize this for it depending on your scenario. But I got my result here. So what I'm going to do is grab the author's GraphQL file and I'm going to copy and paste the code here to my file. Now that I have my code here on the file, I can start testing my Python script. So let's execute the script really quick here to make sure everything is working as expected. And let's maximize this and make some room. And as you can see, uh, this tester is providing me all the information I want. So this is the graphical query. I got the results formatted in this nice table and also in the JSON format. So it looks like Copilot is, is being really helpful here to get me started with these graphical endpoints. Let's ask now to assist us with the next graphical query that's going to be for the books table. So let's switch the context here to the database really quick. And let's drop the next prompt. Next prompt is for the books table. Let's see if we get a successful result. And now I got the, the query back. So let's modify, let's make some room here first. And let's modify the books GraphQL and let's copy and paste really quick. And now let's modify the environment variable to point to the books file. All set and let's run our Python again. Let's clear the screen and it worked. So as you can see, I got all my result back. Once again, my GraphQL query, the table, and the using response from Fabric. So for the rest of queries or mutations I need, I will simply ask it to a pilot with a simple prompt to assist me building the rest of GraphQL queries I need for modernizing my app. So in this demo, I show you how to use the MS SQL extension for VS Code to connect to your SQL database in Fabric and use the power of GitHub Copilot to assist you with context aware suggestions, in this case, code generation to move your data driven application from REST API endpoints to GraphQL, all of these inside VS Code using Microsoft Fabric. If we want to learn more about the MS SQL extension from VS Code, Make sure to check out the links in the video description below. And for now, that's all. Thank you for watching and happy coding.